Go to the Tools panel of Illustrator, Ellipse Tool, and create a quick circle. Hold down the shift to create a nice circle that way. Once you've done that, make sure you've got no fill and the stroke set to black or green, etc. and set for stroke, say, for three points. Then go over here to the AG Offsets, part of the Astute Graphics plugins. Please check out their website for all their plugins. Lots and lots of plugins for Illustrator. Here you've got a distance, 100. Doesn't seem like it does anything at this point. And the reason is because you need to click here. It's a pity it's not automatic. But of course, how does it know that you want it? So click, apply, and you can see straight away you've got your... Now it's automatic, so you can see it's deselected. It's a live effect, so whenever you come back to this, if you just go off it, do some other work, and come back here again, you can just select it. And again, it's still live, still active. And you can see, if you go to the appearance panel, AG offset, it's a live effect. You can modify at any point. Again, click there, and it brings up this panel. So you've got this 100, and you can see that's 100. That's the 100 that it's talking about. You can also make it not total and it just spans out. Each of the steps will be 100. To see it, I'm just going to go with 100 as the total. And it will fill that total of 100. So let's just put in here 20. So if I put 20 there, you can see, obviously, it's going to make it even finer. And you can vary, of course. You don't have to have 100. You could have 200. You'd have a number of settings, obviously. You've also got these options. Now, you can click that. Obviously, that depends on particular shape, etc. You've also got options here for replace original. Of course, it doesn't particularly make a difference because there's nothing there anyway. There's no fill. And also below, and it, again, it's not going to have any effect. However, what you've also got is this option at the side, which is quite a nice one. This is the offset will be extended both inwards and outwards. And you can actually get generate this. So you've got the, there, you can see 200, but it also goes 200 in. And it's quite nice, I think that's quite a nice feature. So you can say that, set that to 10, and you can see now you've got those, but you've got the 10 outside, 10 inside. And of course, it comes even more noticeable when you go for easing, because of course here, it just looks they're all uniform. You've got these corners as well, so you can use those, but of course, with a circle, it doesn't make a difference. So easing, and you can see now, as you do this easing, you can see it's out there. If I go the other way, you can see it just crunches at that central bit, between the two. So if I deselect that, it's a sort of skew feature. You can put it that way or that way. You can skew around the edge. And again, put that there. You can see it skews around that bit at the side, just down at the centre, and also the edge there. It's just a reflection. So I'm just deselect that. But I'm going to keep the ease in just there so it's sort of set 50. So it's in the centre. Or just turn it off. Also, randomised distance. So you've got randomised distance. So you can see as I click there, also you've got an option for seed. And you can change it. So you can make it maybe two. And you can see it hardly changes. Make it 70, and it randomises it a bit more. Seed, and you can see it changes more rapidly at that point. I think there's a limit of 100. I think it goes up to 100. Let's put 150. No, just 100 is the limit of the uh, randomised distances. You may or may not want that. So I'm just going to deselect that. Now you notice also you've got ultra opacity. So you can click there. Lots of these have got these sort of features. Slightly odd sometimes because when you look at some of these, you think, well, when it's just set to 100%, it wouldn't be ultra in any way. So it doesn't make any difference. Just keep it like that and not have this unnecessary ultra. Because if you change it to say 98 or something, then it, you think it would kick in, which it does, of course. So you say two, and you can see what happens. It fades it. So I don't, let's, don't know how you actually get it the other way around, to be honest. There probably isn't a way. However, not uh, concerned with that, but just put it again to 100% and not have it on. But you can see you can fade around the edges. Also, you've got stroke here, and you've got quite a bit of feature here. You've got uh, remove, so you can remove it. Obviously, no use, since there's no fill, it's not going to be of any use at all. But you can retain, obviously, what you've got. Or you can also go with alter colour. So here you've got blend original to, and in case black, of course, it is black already. So that's not going to be much use either. But I'm just going to set it to say blue. So click OK there. And you can see what happens. It blends between those. So you can just see then black all the way through to blue. And that's the blend original to that. You can also blend, pick from a gradient. So you can see, oh, there's the 
faded. Well, it's not a pasty, but you can see the sort of gradient there, and you can of course select different gradients. Let's just select the orange one, and you can see that. So it's got this line as black. However, blend original two like that, or just go for alter weight. So maybe you decide, you know what, I want to alter weight, so I can just extend that to make it, so you can see it's very thin there, all the way through to black there. And I want that one, alter weight, alter both, etc. You can see the range of different effects. Though I'm not certain how you actually get it the other way around. Maybe just apply that, you can see it goes from there to there. Be nice if you could. I'm certainly in another tutorial, I'll find out how to do that. So that's a run through of a fair amount of this feature just for one shape. And that's the key thing. So if I deselect that, and of course it is, a, so if I just there, I can actually save it as a style. So I can always go to window, graphic style. So say graphic style, let's just quickly create graphic style. Graphic style, go to the right side, new graphic style. And I'm just going to call it that. And now, of course, what I can do, I can create one very quickly. So I can just go over here and rectangle tool. So again, click there. And you can see straight away, I can apply very quickly that approach. So you can build up a, a collection of styles using this effect. Most of these two graphic ones are live effects, which you can save as a graphic style. Let's just remove that now. But you can see the result there. And also, you can, again, you can just change here. So you decide, no, what well, I don't want 10. I want 20. Actually, sometimes I always find it very hard to use these little up and down. Sometimes they just seem to ignore, but you can see you can create some very intense designs. Maybe go that way or not. Have So it's going in and out. And also gain alter color. Just go back to that. Alter weight. You can go for very intense black as well. Great sort of design. However, as I said, it's live. It's live also in the shape as well. So if you want to, you can just go over here. And you can see I can use the direct selection tool. And I can just resize this so you can see as you resize it. And also you can actually go to the shape itself. So I can click on there. Maybe let's oh, where is the shape? There it is. There's the part. And you can see as you select it, just about make out what the part. So you can create some very abstract designs just by just dragging that up, dragging that weight, and just generally messing around and creating the weirdest of shapes. And of course you can just alter that, drag that down, maybe go the other way, and so on. You can create all kinds of unique paths, dragging it out that way. Again, it's sometimes because of the black, it's actually quite hard to see the, there's the path. There's the actual original path. Anyway, so you can do all kinds of different shapes and designs that way. Not gonna continue with that. It's actually quite hard to look at after a while. Now I'm just going to go to curvature tool. So I'm just going to quickly create a curve and I'm just going to, so I've got a straight line basically at this point. Obviously it's a curve, but it could have been a curve. You can do exactly the same with this. Again, apply and you can see the effect there. Press escape so you don't see the uh, rubber band as it uh, creates it. And you can modify this so you can go ease in, you can just change these settings and you can create a variety of different, sort of different design, very intense designs like that. And also, of course, can still continue to modify. You can still turn around and say distance. I don't want it to be that. It always seems weird because sometimes I click there and I'm certain I'm clicking the one that's the below or above and it goes the other direction. Very strange. Or well, you can go for that. Very strange. That. Sometimes I do notice that. I just think, hmm. However, curvature tool. Let's just continue to curve this design. So I'm just curve it. And you can see what happens. You can just add some more points to it. Now, sometimes you can go too far. Whoops it will end up creating a distortion there. But if you're careful, you can just create all kinds of different designs that are sort of nice curve like that. And again, you might want to avoid, you can see the problem I'm having here, it's just overlapping. You might not want that, up to you of course, but you can carefully design it so it doesn't do that. And of course, you once you've created this design, you can always go to object, and you can expand appearance. So you decide, you know what? I want it all as lines. And you can create this very intense line. And of course, you can then mask it. You can distort it. You can apply other effects to it. So you can go up here and say, you know what? I don't want it like that. I can go and apply uniform or various width profiles and so on and so on. And create some very interesting designs. And of course, there's other width tools with the Astute Graphics package as well. So let's just undo that. And 
Again, just let's go, again, back to a line, apply off it, and you can see a variety of different designs. And again, you can change these, you can modify the weight, you can change other settings here as well. Alter opacity, so if you want to, you can make it go for two, and you can see it sort of fade it away as it goes from the edge, all the way to the edge. And again, you can continue to modify it. Of course, another thing you can do, you can always hold down the alter option key and duplicate design. And you can create then some lovely sort of unusual patterns, uh, interference patterns that you can apply on top of your design and create a variety of designs that way as well. Or blend modes and much, much more. And that's just running through the stroke. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.